Welcome back to another video on our powerful stable diffusion software Amuse. Today I'm going to be covering how to pre-process control net layers in video to video generation in Amuse. So I'm going to start by going to the video generation tab, which already defaults to the video to video tab. Today I'm going to be using the Dream Shaper V7 LCM model, so I'm going to select that and click load. Once that's loaded, I'm going to check pre-process as well as control net. And uh, just a reminder that in order to do this, you will need to have the appropriate models installed. You can find them here in the model manager tab. If you scroll down to the upscale, no, sorry, the control net models and the feature extraction models. So if I go back to video generation, uh, I'm going to, in this video demonstration, I'm going to be using depth maps. So the control net I want is the depth map one. And the pre-process one is the depth map extractor one. So I'll select that, and now I can click load, wait for it to load both of those models. And so now that that's ready, I can load the video that I want to use. So I'm going to pick this one. And so what preprocess is going to do is instead of running video to video on this video, first it's going to run the depth map extractor model on this video, and then it's going to take the resulting depth map video that it makes and then use that for the video to video generation one with this as a control net layer. And so you'll see you'll see that in a second. I'm just going to need to have a prompt. And here's a, a seed I picked earlier. And so it's as simple as that. I should be ready to click generate. And so first it's going to go through frame by frame and extract the depth map for each frame stitch that together into a depth map video and then it's going to take that depth map video and use it as a control net layer for the video to video. And so I'm just going to wait for it to do its thing. And so, as you can see, I've generated a video using a control net layer that I extracted from this video. In previous videos, I showed you how to extract just a, a control net layer and then separately how to generate a video from a control net layer. And uh, this simply shows you how to do that all as one single workflow rather than doing the steps individually. And so hopefully that has been helpful and I will see you in the next video.